today I will be reading from a book that came out in 2007 called Rihaya. It means to you or to your health in Korean and was originally published by the Chunnam National University Press with English on the left and Korean language translation on the right. And I'm just going to read segments of it in order. The book has poems that had been previously published in eight other books before this, and then some new ones. So we'll go at it 15 or 20 poems at a time. <coughs> the first of these uh, was about uh, 14 years old. So uh, they c come in very different varieties depending on my age. The book starts off with great expectations. Great expectations. Great. But what when the obvious happens? A predictable animal grasps you and throws you to the ground. Thoughts of how nice it would be if. Then they vanish like a dream when you wake up. A floating reality teases your mind. It is there, but it may never reach you. Dogwood. Outreaching leaves of white, directly over green. How can it seem trite, this wonderful nature machine? Later, as the summer grows, those greens come into life, spreading all the charm they know while stealing the dogwood's white. Bush A. Fluttering slower, quick again, green, lush bush leaves, Small and wavering, noisy. Shades change as the wind flutters those leaves. Bush B. Light breeze invades. Bushes' leaves change shades. Green absorbs CO2. Just for me and you. Play. Brandy barks at swooping swallows. Life, lowered to one foot or so in summertime, is simple, as the lure of tired dogs and clover greets only those who need to play. Scampering down outside stairs, past the skidding bicycle marks, to a tumbling fit of joy, goes the only daily memory of a happiness once known. Landing in a pile of limbs, which includes the golden hair that shines a wetness on the back of brandy, the player laughs at the summer sun. How long will it be before the play begins again, before the youthful joy once known appears, before the love, if ever, returns? The Springs Let's go down to the springs. We can watch the dogwoods grow. Let's go down and watch things. Get up right now. Let's go. The water will be running. We certainly won't miss that. Today, you do look stunning. Let's go down and chat. There's something I want to tell you. There's something I want to say. Now we're a nation of two, starting this very day. So let's go down to the springs. We can watch the dogwood grow. We'll hear the bird that sings. There's one thing that I do know. When we go down to the springs, we'll see if two can be one will avoid the things that sting and catch a little sun. The thing that I have found is a love for only you. My heart will always pound when I enter our nation of two. The meadow. The meadow's grains flow in the breeze while birds fly up above. The leaves are turning in the trees and lovers are making love. The wild asparagus has gone away, the corn is turning brown. But this is where I'm going to stay because I'm feeling down. If someone would come with me, if someone would really care, I'd take them up and we would see that chestnut thoroughbred mare. And we would pick some long, tall grass and throw it at each other. And we would watch the summer pass, being friends with one another. My dearest friend, I will not lie, I love you very much. But like the elusive butterfly, you are much too nice to touch. For my friends. 
A friend is like a constant river flow, a lover more like a pond. A friend is someone whom I know, of a lover I am fond. To be a lover and a friend is well worth all the time. To love someone until the end puts the friendship on the line. To say I love you is very real, our friendship I do cherish. And I hope and truly feel that it shouldn't perish. I love you greater than love. Love is transitory. So let me say that being friends might end all allegory. The Falls. This one is a song as well, sung in Brown Dog by the singer Mike Brown. I played bass in that band. The Falls. Broken fender, twig and line, and light blue sky with trees. Green on blue and mountain fine with warmth upon my knees. Summer sun at winter time, snow still on the ground. The place is set for water mine, so I listen for the sound. The sound is one of Bashbeach Falls, and now I tend to stare. Ever-flowing echo calls of water in the air. It makes me think of trees gone by and people never seen. It shouldn't, but it makes me cry to think of where I've been. Now I sit with tears on face, knowing all the glory. Now I sit without a trace of how to tell the story. <clears throat> Take aim. That's A-I-M, the American Indian Movement. Several times within the week, my heart begins to ache. To the Seneca I speak, no need here to fake. Skenny Atlas, Canandaigua, wine surrounds the lakes. Seneca and Cuca are missing native wakes. No more red-skinned swimmers, no more birch canoes. Bear Hill is getting dimmer, Iroquois are few. Ganondua is still quite red, but only once a year. At other times, the nation's dead. It always brings a tear. Iroquois nation will return, just look into my eye. The rage inside the nation burns. We will never die. The Creek. Harvesting future sauerkraut, paddling the lake, spearing for a rainbow trout, baking cornbread cake, smoothing down an arrowhead, digging trilobites, walking where our brothers bled, singing funeral rites, hiking back along the creek past the cherry trees, raspberries, they seem so meek, but bloody up the knees, creek bed slowly running dry, then a waterfall, a pause to sit and wonder why, to hear the blue jay call. Water drops into the pool like a giant tear. Elders preach a peaceful rule. We pray for a plentiful year. Nine Slapper. Bluebird in the air, golden boy delights, skipping stones without a care, singing in the night. Seagull pierces silence, the dawn is on the rise. Fishermen are busy, watching for red skies. River wanders digging earth, fertilizing soil. Weekend monger slobber, spilling pints of oil. Redskin native stands, a reminder of the past. Spearing fish and digging clams, hoping they will last. Blue-eyed boy walks on, determined to have fun. Lonely lovers cry, searching for the sun. The Glen. Moving down a rocky slope, stepping over moss, living with the hope that life is not a loss. Picking wild geraniums, shuffling with the trees, running from the things that fill me with dis-ease. Sitting in a pile of leaves beside a shaded knoll, the beauty here deceives the mindless, heartless soul. Rocks obstruct the way down to icy glen. In the middle of May, the bugs attack all men. Wooden bridges line the path back to the one road town, back to rats and rejects, always feeling down. The next section comes from three Gainesville poets. The other two were Ed Lyons.